I hate to break it to you, but success isn't always due to your brilliance or your intelligence. You may have suspected this at some stage in your career. You may have discovered that some people who are less qualified than you, less intelligent than you, got the job instead of you. You've probably been very frustrated about this. You probably didn't understand why. Why do less qualified people get the job that you want? There is a reason. In fact, there are many reasons for this and we're gonna talk about it in this video. The first thing they do is they believe in themselves. Self-belief is a prerequisite to success. You will not achieve anything in life or anything in your career if you do not believe in yourself. If you do not believe that you are genuinely capable of achieving that goal. While self-belief is really important to achieve success, it's actually really hard to cultivate and there are many things that can come in the way and block your self-belief. Comparing yourself to others is one of those things. Negative self-talk is another one of those things. I've experienced both of these blocks in my journey and in my career, and I can tell you it is really hard to overcome. Social media certainly doesn't help the situation. It can really cause you to start comparing yourself to other people, seeing how wonderful their life is, and you think or assume that your life isn't as good as theirs is. This can really damage your self-belief and your self-confidence as well. Whenever I'm feeling this and I realize that I am comparing myself too much to other people and it's impacting me in a negative way, I drag myself out of it by getting a book, by listening to a podcast or even just listening to music, something that's going to uplift me and make me feel a lot more positive about my life and about myself. This is probably a strategy that less qualified people use as well to help them get the job that they want, to help them move over their self-doubt because I guarantee you everybody has it. So if this is a strategy that works for them, then you should definitely try it because I know that it can work for you too. The second thing, less qualified qualified people do is they overcome the imposter syndrome. According to Wikipedia, imposter syndrome is a psychological pattern where an individual doubts their skills, their talents and their accomplishments and has a persistent internalized fear of being found out as a fraud. In simple terms, it is basically self-doubt. We have all experienced self-doubt at one stage or another. Before an important presentation, you probably asked yourself, have I practiced enough? Before an important exam, you probably said to yourself, I'm not as smart as the other people in this room. Before applying for a promotion, you probably asked yourself, do I have enough experience for this position? Despite what you may think, imposter syndrome is extremely common. Both men and women experience imposter syndrome and it's very common in high achieving professionals. People who are very ambitious, probably just like you. According to medicalnewstoday.com, 82% of people experience imposter syndrome. So you may think it is just you, you're the only person in the world who feels this and who experiences this, but I can tell you it is definitely not true. The majority of people experience imposter syndrome at one time or another. The thing is, though, less qualified people who get the job that you want, they don't let the feeling of self-doubt or imposter syndrome stop them from applying for that job or going for that promotion. Even though they probably feel self-doubt, even though they probably feel they may lack in qualification or intelligence or on some other level, they apply for that job Regardless, regardless of whether they feel ready or not, they apply for that job. And that is a common reason why less qualified people get the job instead of you. They also create their own leadership opportunities. Many people wait for leadership opportunities to just land in their lap. They don't go out there and they don't proactively look for them, mostly because they don't know how to go about creating their own leadership opportunities. You may have never even thought of the concept of creating your own leadership opportunities. And to be honest, it's not your fault. Formal education hasn't prepared you for this. Formal education doesn't prepare us for going out there and looking for and creating our own leadership opportunities so we can shine and so we can stand out in the world of leadership. But this is where you need to be different. This is where you need to be proactive and make your success happen. Because waiting for your boss to discover how wonderful you are, waiting for them to just hand you a promotion and hand you that leadership opportunity, it doesn't happen. If that's a strategy you've been pursuing so far, 
How has it worked for you? Has it led you to the success that you genuinely want? If it hasn't, wouldn't it be better for you if you proactively went out there and started to create your own leadership opportunities? Wouldn't that make you look better and more achieved in the eyes of your boss? Well, this is what less qualified people do so they can get the promotions or the job that you want. Now, how do you go about this? First thing you need to do is to let your boss know that you are wanting to advance in your career. This is really important and I will talk about it a little later on in this video. Another idea that will help you become noticed in your organization is to create some kind of social group with other co-workers, with other employees in the organization. It could be within your own team or it could be in another team as well. Some kind of social group that brings people together that you started that makes you look like a leader. Another idea for you is to give lunch and learn presentations at your company or within your team or within other departments. This is where you create a presentation and you offer to people, to a small group of people during the lunchtime. You teach them about something related to your area of expertise, your job, some kind of professional advice so people can understand more about what you do, what you're great at and why you are so intelligent and worthy of the next promotion. This will definitely help you get noticed and help you stand out as well. You can also write an article for the corporate website. Companies often have websites and they have a section on their website where they have articles. Professionals from the organization write articles talking about their area of expertise and giving advice to their customers and to their clients. This is a great way for you to get noticed by your boss, by other people inside your organization and also people outside your organization who are going to be reading that website. Less qualified people also know how to network with the right people. Networking is an extremely important part of your leadership growth. I cannot stress this enough. You absolutely need to network as an emerging leader. Networking helps you become more visible and it helps you connect with the right people inside your company and inside your industry. What I'm really talking about here is connecting with people who can help you get promoted promoted, connecting with people who can help you get the job that you want. This is what less qualified people do. They know how to network. They know how to network strategically so they can get the promotion and get the job that they want. And this has enabled them to fast track their career and fast track their growth as well. So I highly encourage you to start networking. Start by thinking of one to three people inside your organization who can help you get promoted. So what we're looking at here is higher level decision makers, managers, or other leaders inside the organization. Start by connecting with them on LinkedIn, engage with their posts, comment on their posts. This will really get you noticed because everybody checks their LinkedIn posts. Everybody wants to know who has commented, who has liked their posts and what have people written inside the comments. So if you start writing comments on these posts, it will definitely get you noticed by them. You can also reach out to them by email for an informational interview. So once you've interacted a little bit using LinkedIn, maybe you've even bumped into them a couple of times inside the office, reach out to them and ask them for an informational interview. And this is where you would ask them about their job, about their career progression and about their gross. This is really going to help you connect with them better, them get to know you as well. And it could be the one step you need to get the job that you want. Less qualified people also make it known that they want to advance. I touched on this point before in the video, but it really is a fantastic opportunity for you to get other people to know that you want to advance in your career. This is exactly what less qualified people do. And this is probably why they are getting the job that you want. They make it known to other people they want a promotion. They don't keep it to themselves. They don't sit at the desk, keep their head down and do a good job at work every day, hoping that other people will realize they are very intelligent, they are fantastic and they deserve to be promoted. You don't want other people to guess that you want a promotion, you want them to know. You need to directly tell them that you are after a promotion in that company because people don't guess 
things like this. And if you leave it for them to take responsibility for this, you will go unnoticed and you will be looked over for the next promotion or the next job opening. I don't want this to happen to you. Now, I know you might be thinking to yourself, well, isn't it a bit bold to go out there and just tell people I want that job or I want that promotion to announce this and possibly look like a failure if it doesn't happen? That is a risk for sure. Absolutely, that can happen. But I think you have more to lose if you don't tell people you want a promotion. You're more likely to be overlooked if nobody knows you are ambitious. So don't be shy about telling people you want a promotion. Let everyone know, be bold and be confident in your career ambitions. The next reason less qualified people get the job that you want is because they are clear on their career goals. Being clear on your career goals will definitely help you land the job or land the promotion that you want. If you're all over the place with your career, if you go from job to job to job without any strategic direction, it won't help you land the job or land the promotion that you want. In order to be successful, you need to have a plan. You need to have goals to work towards and goals that will help you arrive at the end result. People who get the jobs that you want have probably been doing this. They've probably been very clear on their career goals. They've probably been networking to connect with the right people so they can get that job. They have also made it known to other people in the office that they want that particular job. All of this is in preparation for them to achieve the goals that they want. If you haven't identified your career progression for the next one to five years, then you are already behind. As soon as you can write down the job you want, the career you want within the next one to five years, what does that look like? What is the job description? What is the job title? What is the company you wanna work for? And what is the industry you wanna work in? You need to be clear on this so you can make your career growth happen. As Tony Robbins says, where focus goes, energy flows. I want you to get clear on your career goals. Put all of your focus on your career goals. Put all of your energy in that direction and you'll be more likely to get the job that you want. Less qualified people don't blame other people for their failures. Blaming other people as to why you haven't received the promotion, it keeps you playing small and it puts the responsibility of your life and of your career on the shoulders of other people. When in reality, it's your life, therefore it is your responsibility. Blaming others for your lack of success, it creates a block that makes you feel it's okay to not push harder for the goals that you have, it basically gives you an excuse to not try hard. People who get the job that you want, they don't do this. If they fail, and they probably do, they simply pick themselves up and they keep moving forward. They set goals, they take small steps, but they eventually make the goals that they want happen. They don't give up. Life is always going to present to you challenges. It's always going to be difficult in some way. The job for you as a leader is to pick yourself up and to continue moving forward. Finding a mentor is a fantastic way to fast track your career growth and to get the job that you want. Mentors will motivate you, they will make you feel confident and they will also give you a strategic direction to help you land the job that you want because they have been there before and this will also help them to connect you with the right people. This is one of the big advantages of having a mentor for your career. When finding a mentor, I recommend that you look for somebody who has achieved something that you want to achieve, who has had the career that you want, who has been in that organization or who has been in that industry. Basically, somebody who has been where you want to go. If you've never considered a mentor and you feel stuck in your career, then maybe this is something that's going to help unlock it for you. People who get the job you want also proactively learn the skills that they need. Career advancement requires you to constantly be upskilling yourself, to be constantly learning new skills, to never be complacent with your learning and development, and to never think that you already know everything and there is nothing else left for you to learn. This is one of the major mistakes that people make in their career. Those people who often feel stuck in their career and cannot get the job that they want. So you need to make it a priority to learn and to continually learn and grow and develop. People who get the job that you want probably realize this and it's likely that they devote a certain amount of time every week to their learning and to their growth. So find out what skills you need to be successful in the job that you want, both technical skills 
and soft skills are important here. Find out what those skills are and dedicate a certain amount of time every week to learning and developing those skills. To all my loyal subscribers, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching for the very first time, thank you for coming to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe at the button below this video and every week I will share with you videos to help you on your leadership journey. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the other videos on the screen before you leave and I will see you again next week.